listening. Um, so let's start off with what, you know, what inflammation is. And, and generally it's a, a complex source of, you know, metabolic, physiological, anatomical, immunological processes. It sounds really complex, but in, in, in a nutshell, we can always say it, it, the word inflammation just means fire you know, in, in terms of de defining what, in, you know, phlegm or inflammation means. And inflammation just means itis, I-T-I-S, you know, like when we write something. So when we think of inflammation, it's just inflammation is the chronic degeneration through a lot of these variety of diet, lifestyle, environmental uh, sources as well. And even stress is one of them, for example. And these trigger these responses that are supposed to normally kind of balance the body. Like you need to have some inflammation, you don't wanna have too much, but when it's too much, then it progresses a dis-ease that we may have have into disease, right? And then some of those diseases actually can progress into cancer. And so the key is reducing inflammation as a whole. When we look at inflammation, just to give you an example, and I, I think I've done this before, but I always like to tell the audience every time is, you know, inflammation, well, just think of anything with an itis. So if you have one of these things, you have a problem. So, you know, dermatitis, you know, red eyes, this conjunctivitis, runny nose, rhinitis, sinusitis, you know, gingivitis of your, you know, esophagitis, laryngitis, thyroiditis, you know, gastritis, colitis, prostatitis, vaginitis, you know, arthritis, tendonitis. We have over 200 different itises now. And unfortunately, Western medicine sometimes looks at just treating the symptoms. So, you know, we can give a pain medicine, we can give some kind of direct aspect, but from our perspective, using evidence-based integrative therapies, we're looking at, can we find the underlying triggering mechanisms that are causing the inflammatory responses in each individual? Uh, some of them are, are general, you know, like diet and lifestyle. Then we go further, like what specific foods may be in their diet and what are the tr maybe triggers in their environment as well, uh, even the stressors in their mind as well. And then can we help reduce that naturally and improve their overall outcome? Today, what's happening right now is with the standard American diet and lifestyle, this is why we have so many inflammatory responses. And as I mentioned before, I think, uh, you know, a long time ago, in my book, you know, I had the, the U.S. was ranking 46 out of 48 industrial nations in terms of chronic diseases and, and the outcome, even though we spent more than any other country, you know, I think the top 10 or 15 combined, right? So we were the wealthiest nation with the poorest chronic outcomes is because chronic inflammation is a little bit more challenging to, tri uh, to treat from a conventional standpoint. You know, they're really good at acute care. So for example, you sprain your ankle, which is an immediate acute inflammatory response. That's a good thing. When you have a fever and you're sick, that's a good thing. Your body's evoking its immune response to fight, fix, and repair. However, if you have a chronic fever, so now your fever is 10 days, right? Or your ankle's still swollen, you know, then there's a problem because that can cause some degeneration or lack of healing or, or inhibition of getting to that optimum healing response. So what we have to look at from our perspective are what are the triggers, which we, we usually address in our, in, when we approach our patients, and then what are the ways to lower it naturally? And even if someone is using conventional therapies, our goal is how do we even make those therapies um, less side effects? you know, and, and improve their outcomes. So we're kind of data-driven and how we look at things and we're not anti this or pro this. We're looking at how do we just improve the outcome of whatever they're using or the opportunity that they have in front of them.